Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today, we have a 3D printed Beyblade reveal. Now, before I get into it, I'm just gonna say right now, this Beyblade is a big time work in progress, okay? This is nowhere near its finished stage. I just wanted to throw something out there because, um, yeah, and this will kind of give you guys an idea. Mind you, the shape is probably not even, the shape is probably not even finished itself. So, um, yeah, no, I've done very minimal testing off camera, and it's okay. Not where I want it to be yet, but, um, yeah, no. So, y'all remember Colossus? Well, uh, I evolved him. So, this is Compass Colossus. Um, he's called Compass Colossus because of the very obvious compass-looking design in the middle, although that's a very different reason for that. His current combo is Blitz Destroy, uh, Hasbro Destroy, I know it destroys a very stereotypical driver, but trust me, for the moment in time, this just want to run it on because it's a safe driver. Um, he is still very much so a switch frame bay, a lot bigger than the original version. You still have to burst him in the very same way. Um, he is dual rotation in the sense that the key itself has all the tabs to make it dual rotation, so you don't have to switch the key anymore. The only thing he's switching are the teeth. Um, and this line down the middle is his spear, Colossus. Um, although his avatar has not shown it in his next avatar, it will show him using a spear. So, um, yeah, no, Colossus is a spear-based Beyblade, and I wanted to have the spear pointed downwards. That's like the end of the spear, not the end, but like the pole going through it. And then you got the blade up here, and the blade points downwards toward this, uh, these three bottom contact points, specifically the big one. Um, yeah, it's pretty interesting design in my opinion, uh... Like I said, the shape is probably not even fully complete because it doesn't perform to where I want it to yet. Now, this is not the super big important Colossus that is to come in uh, recent, or is, that is to come later. But uh, no, it's, I just want to throw something out there. So um, yeah, I will be testing him up against three Beyblades. We have the official testing Beyblade of the channel. Knockout. Uh, five whatever that draft is called, extend. Uh, then we will be testing him up against Oranos. Uh, three, expand. No, that's not expand. That's proof. Uh, bearing dash. And then the last bay will be the seventh member of the Superior Seven. You guessed it. Onslaught. Uh, Vanguard Atomic. So, um, yeah, no. I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, wish me luck. And that's all I got to say. So... First, we're going up against Knockout. Knockout's a pretty solid bay. Kind of a, he's a balanced type. Not bad at all. So, as the official test bay of the channel, is he good enough to beat? Absolutely. I think Knockout is the strongest of the three Beyblades, the original uh, triad of Beyblades that I made. The original triad being Smite, Arachne, and Knockout. The current triad is um, Smite, Arachne, and, of course, uh, what's his name? I'm t I'm making a video on him. Colossus, I'm sorry. Um, Knockout's still a part of that, but he's more like the initiation. You know? Okay. Well, I think we got our point off. But, uh, no. Colossus, at least this evolution, is uh, the most important evolution and one of the most important bays because he's like the initiation bay. He's the testing bay. If my bay is not strong enough to beat him, then they are not ready yet. Let me scoot this down a little bit. So you get a slightly better view. There we go. Okay, so now that he's beaten the sort of first test, now we are going to put him up against Oranos in his low mode. Uh... Ornos is a right rotation stamina type and a former member of the Superior 7. Just like Colossus is a former member of the Superior 7 as well. He was dethroned. In fact, both of them were dethroned. So as you can tell, Colossus hits pretty freaking hard. And um, how Colossus is described is a balanced type that leans towards the attack potential uh, more than he does all else and i like that so i kind of wanted to exploit that in this evolution 
kind of push out his attack a little more while maintaining stamina and defense. So he won that by stamina, uh, took two clicks on Oronos, while he himself didn't uh, take any because he's a switch frame bay. Also, uh, I will only test his left rotation against Onslaught because Onslaught's the big opponent. Uh, will we test... Will we run this version of Colossus up against Superior 7? Probably not. But we will definitely be just throwing them around here and there. Pretty good attack power, as you can tell. Uh, Ornos is not a weak bay in terms of burst resistance, so that's actually pretty nice. Uh, not a bad flex on capability. Uh, let's see here. Now we're going to flip Ornos's armor into upper mode. Uh, lower mode is pretty much the mode where you he's a, at a more stable shape, but upper mode is like this. So you can actually get the armor off easier. This version of uh, Colossus can def... I even think the older version of Colossus, the first version, can take off the armor. Smite kind of had a little run-in with Ornos and messed up his armor. So, as you can tell, not that hard. But Ornos is a perfect circle. Ooh, okay. I was going to say he's a perfect circle whenever he's in his... Whenever his armor is not attached anymore. But, you know, it, it's what it is. He's a stamina type, and you can still very much so burst him without his armor on. By the way, Ornos, describing his flip gimmick is like... Prominent Phoenix's heavy mode and light mode for his armor. Case in point, you can still burst him when his uh, armor is off, despite him being a perfect circle. But uh, no, Ornos put simply, his armor in low mode is like Prominent Phoenix heavy mode. You can still take, you can still get it off, but it's more difficult to, and it maintains a more stable shape. Um, whereas in light mode, you can get the armor off, but I think light mode is honestly better than heavy mode. So he's strong enough to beat Ornos. Now to the big guns. Onslaught. So this what was it? Seven minutes, seven minutes already? Jesus. Um, by the way, this version of Colossus has launcher issues, but I am going to fix those in the distant future. So Onslaught is definitely without a doubt one of the toughest defense types I have ever made. Spike hit. There are better defense types, but he is definitely one of the toughest. There's a very fine difference there. Now, is he capable of beating up the seventh member of the Superior Seven? He can spin steel. But no, he cannot beat the Superior Seven seventh member. You take half clicks though. Uh, Onslaught is running on fresh ish teeth, you know, they're more fresh than they were a little while back. So let's throw this new Compass Colossus uh, together in left rotation now. In left rotation, it has a weird offset of the spear, but it, it, it kind of works with the title compass since it looks different um so technically speaking colossus points to the south more than he does the north or any other direction so he's actually pointing east now colossus this is the exact problem i pointed out his uh layer key is too short at the moment in time and so i can't really fit him on the launcher too well as you can tell, there's a lot that needs to be done to this evolution. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Now, Colossus, work with me. Okay. Come on, buddy. Doesn't want to fit. Mm. Okay. Good. Fool of me. I made you, you will obey me. Come on. 
God freaking dang it. Just work. I don't want to... Oh, my. You are working a little minute. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Not the same for a lot. Okay. I did not expect that. Left rotation colossus. I have to launch him first because he's very disobedient right now. When I raise his layer key, it will definitely work better. By the way, really the only major change that will happen with the layer key is maybe a bit more design and it will be raised to increase its capability of being able to be used on a launcher. Right now I have to kind of pinch him on my way. So, dual. Colossus has always been a dual rotation bay, but yeah, no, this, this is kind of just showing what he's capable of. Final battle. The timing was really off, but I mean, we'll figure it out. I mean, you see, he can put up a fight against Onslaught. If the timings were right, it would make more sense. But, um, yeah, no, that is the end of this Beyblade reveal. Honestly, like I said many times throughout the video, this is the epitome of a prototype. It is not finished yet. The name, I really like it, Compass Colossus. But, um, yeah, no, it's just not done yet. Its shape could use some improvements, and, of course, this layer key needs to be fixed. But, um, yeah, no, this is something that's been sitting in the workshop for a little while now, and I just haven't tended to it yet. And now I'm kind of giving him some attention for it. Uh, I also made some updates to Champion Gladiator, making him actually burstable. I just need to slice that file and reprint it. Um, same thing for Draugr. He's more durable now when I reprint him. Pretty much, I did a lot of updates to my Beyblades. I also need to update uh, Ember Salamander. Or Salamancer, my apologies. Um, so he his teeth doesn't break. I kind of got to perfect my bays that I've already made. And I have a lot of plans for new ones and evolved ones as well. Midas is going to get an evolution in the future. This is going to be fixed. And there's a bigger evolution of Colossus coming in the distant future. So, I mean, like, that's cool. Um, the next evolution of Smite is current. Well, not currently, but he is definitely going to be worked on. In fact, I am working on the shape uh, a little bit right now. I don't have a lot of time to work on this kind of stuff. So really, 3D, 3D printing right now is kind of weird. And um, that's all I really have to say. Overall, for a prototype, I think this is definitely pretty good. I think it does better than the original Colossus. And just to give a size reference before we leave... OG versus current. Yeah, he's a lot bigger and he's heavier. Um, both bays essentially work the same though. But um, yeah, no, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and location bell if you want to. I'll put you right there because that's where you like to be. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.